So today we're doing a Valorant alt tier list. This is going to be based off of the alt itself, not the agent and not in combination with any other abilities because that would make for endless possibilities and endless arguments. First up, we have Sage and this is the most powerful ability that you can have in any game. I'm going to put it in God tier. That's because it, it gives you a whole nother player. Like that's like one of the best things you can have in any game, especially in a game like Valorant and CSGO. When, if you're in a 1v1 against the Sage and she reses, you're gonna have to be able to output twice the amount of damage, take in twice the amount of damage, and you have to check twice as many, if not more, amounts of spots and angles. And even if the person she resed was AFK and just stood there, that would still change how you played the round because you would think there's somebody there. Just having another person, like having another life, making it a 65 is so powerful. It can really just change the outcome of the round. Next up, we have Raze's ult. Like coming from a Raze main, it's from the outside perspective, it's you know really overpowered. It can one shot, it can splash damage. It does a lot of splash damage and it can kill a lot of people. But from a Raze main, they nerfed it recently. And although it might seem insignificant, they made the equip time uh, like I think maybe half a second longer or even less than that. But it it affects it a lot like oh i i can't even count how many times i've been caught trying to use it but they just killing me before i can even shoot it it's pretty good to like force people out of an area because once they hear that you know fire in the hole they're gonna they're gonna dip you know they're gonna run away or they might take the chance that you miss or look somewhere else and they can shoot you in the back and so i'm gonna put in decent it, it might come as a shock but you know Coming from a raise me, and that's how I feel about it. I don't think it's too OP. Next up, we have Jets Knives. Um, as a lot of you know, these recently got nerfed. They now have damage fall off on the right click, and it goes all the way to 35. I mean, nobody was gonna, nobody's right clicking at long range or even medium range. You know, these are really hard to hit a uh, right click. But because I, I'm not gonna be judging these with like all the agents' other abilities, or else that wouldn't be an alt tier list. That would just be an agent tier list. The knives themselves are not good. It's the fact that Jet can dash, updraft, smoke, you know, cause all this chaos that can get your eyes off of the other people on her team and it'll make you very hard to hit her, especially in lower ranks. I'm putting it down here and that's solely because it's just the ult and not her other abilities as well. Next up we have Breach's ult. Um, a lot of you know this is just six seconds of stunned. You can't shoot as fast. You can't run. But one of the most underrated parts of this alt is that you get like you get you jump up like it, it stuns you and pushes you back and you jump into the air and that's sort of like really good information because it doesn't mean you know if you get stunned and you're behind some cover that you can just hide and stay there it means you know you're you're announcing to everybody you know look at me i'm over here come shoot me and they they know they have about six seconds to just come and kill you because you really can't do anything you have to one tap them you have to get lucky because it also makes your aim a little bit wobbly and it's it's pretty good if you hit them. You do have to actually hit them and you know usually you can cover about half a sight with it. And so I'm gonna put it in decent. I really wish I could put this higher, but the fact that you actually have to aim it and put it in you know which part of the site you want uh, puts it in decent for me. I'm gonna put Omen's Alt in decent as well. And the reason I'm not putting it any higher or lower is because it can be really powerful, like solely the amount of paranoia it causes for the enemy team. You could ult right to where you are currently, and the fact that they can't see you, they don't cancel you, they can't hear you, it'll just make it so that they're just so nervous of like you know where you can come from that it will ultimately change how they play. You know, they're gonna check their they're gonna check their flank, they're gonna check CT spawn, they're gonna check T spawn, they're gonna check everywhere. Going for a play where you actually get a kill can be hard because you know they can hear where you go. They can cancel you. You might have to cancel. They could kill you if, if they see you from a long range and you're, you know, when you're spawning, it doesn't see them. And so there's sort of this, like, you can either choose, you have to choose which way you want to use his ult. And a lot of the times the paranoia can cause your team, can give your team a better advantage than actually getting a kill. Next up, we have Sova's ult. You know, Sova's ult is really powerful when you have a dart and a recon bolt and you can, you know, see where they are but as its own alt without anything else because we can't use that it's not that good you know it does 80 damage it two shots them you know you can cancel you can cancel an 
a, a plant or a diffuse but overall it's just not the best and i'm gonna put in nothing special because really it's just like you know a really strong bullet that you can shoot across the map i think a lot of you know where this next one is going uh it's not very good it's just like the thing with viper's ult is that the decay that it does you know it can get you down to one health a lot of fights are won by the person who sees the other first and so especially in the higher ranks a lot of fights are just who can get a headshot first or who sees the other one first and because of that this isn't that good um you know they did recently buff it i don't know if it was recent but your teammates don't get decayed while in it which honestly is pretty good but it's you know if you kill her it's sort of if your teammates were in it they're kind of now just like frozen they're naked they're in the open and that can really mess with people so it's not that good next up we have skies seekers these ones especially in a situation where there's only three enemies alive this can be really good because it literally just it's just a cipher alt it tells you where they are it's really powerful especially even when there's five enemies on the enemy team and you're you're taking a site it can be really good to take out you know who's on site and find out their location because if it's an if the enemy are on a save they have shock and they're trying to catch you off guard it can you can just win you the round because you know where they are and so i'm going to put it in 3k because it can literally give you a 3k with the three seekers that it, that it has next up we have reina's alt it makes her shoot faster like i don't know how much faster but it's a bit a lot faster and the, th the best thing about it is that she heals instantly you don't i don't think you have to be in 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 line of sight of the orb and you can go invisible the invisible part honestly isn't even that good because that you know it, it emits a sound and any good player with working headphones is going to know where you are based off of that sound unless their teammates are screaming in discord but the the fact that you can heal to basically full and some more after every single fight is super important because the reason why you don't see a lot of you know 3k's 4k's and aces is because the person is low by the time they have to fight the next person and having full hp in a game like valorant can be super effective because it can help you win more fights i think this alt is really underrated and i'm going to put it in 3k because it can give you easy 3k's next up we have killjoy's alt it's really good for wasting time whether it be on a retake or taking a site it can make them you know scatter get out of the you know get out of the site get out of the area but other than that it's it just sort of just pushes them out for like i don't know how long it is 10 15 seconds it's not that good and a lot of the time even when you detain the person you don't know if you can kill them because it doesn't tell you where they are and if they're detained they're probably not that close to the actual ult itself and so if you try to push them their teammates are probably going to be holding them and you know making sure they're safe and so i'm going to have to put this in nothing special next up we have cypher's alt in valorant information can be like one of the most important things you can have which is why sova cypher and Kildra are like considered some of the best agents is because of the information they can give your team cypher's alt when used correctly it can sort of lift the stress off your shoulders of like where are they you know can they be here can they be coming behind me it lifts all that stress completely off and tells you you know it does put a different kind of stress of i have to kill them now but not having to guess and sort of wait to see where your enemy is is super powerful so it's going to go in 3k it can also you know clear out a, a cheeky person who's just chilling on site next up we have phoenix's alt I think a lot of you know where this is going. Phoenix's alt is in the same field as Sage's res. That's because it essentially gives you another life. But the best part about that life is that you it's worry-free. You don't need to worry about anything but where your body is and where you're going to spawn. Make sure your teammates have you covered. You know, Don't do it in the open. Phoenix's alt is so good because you can just hold W. You're, the enemy are going to get so scared, they're either going to have to fight you and risk losing their life or killing yours, but nobody dies. It's sort of a lose-lose for them. They either take some damage, give away information, or or die. And it's honestly one of the best because you can just hold W. You don't have to worry about anything. 
Phoenix is all if you use it in a clutch in a 1v whatever you're probably going to lose because they're going to find a way to ring around the rosy you you know they're going to let you sneak by them and then they're going to go and kill you when you spawn and that's one of the worst parts about it i still going in god here though it's still amazing next we have brim's alt <clears throat> brim's alt is really good for area sort of flushing and denial you know at the beginning of the round you can ult u-haul you know get an easy kill or get somebody out of there make sure you like you can know that somebody's not there same with vents on split you know haven garage garage window it's really good for that but i think it's a bit overrated for post plants like yes it does you know it'll kill anybody in there but you know one tap you use it you click it on your ipad and then you kind of sort of lost the round if it's not planned for you because you're gonna alt they're gonna get away once the alt goes back they're gonna tap it and then they're gonna be holding you because they know you're gonna be rushing them unless you have a a molly lineup so it's sort of just like a big molly that does a lot of damage another thing about his alt is that you can actually see through it you can't sometimes i play on low graphic settings for you know higher fps and sometimes the ult just isn't there, and I can just see through it. So, I don't know what that's about. But, you can see on the minimap through it. It doesn't count as a smoke, even though you, like your eyes usually can't see through it. It doesn't count as a smoke. So, you can see the, the enemy on the minimap just running running by, and you can just track them based off of that. So, it's going to go nothing special, making it a, a nice, symmetrical tier list. I'm going to say Sage... Might make a comeback in the pro scene in the next few months, even with the nerfs that are put on her her heel and her wall. I think she's gonna make a comeback because people are gonna start using her slows, you know, in combination with a lot of other abilities, and her res is gonna be really important. Thanks for watching. Peace.